Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Marcel and I'm back here on Azur Lane with the uh, Swirling Cherry Blossoms event or Swirling Sakura as I like to call it. It's the rerun. Um, so I've already done this event in the past uh, the, when the original run was going on, but uh, there's some new characters out now. So I'm pretty excited about that and we're going to get straight into it, do some pulls. Now, quick little reminder, this event is featuring Hibiki 2 for the point accumulation, as well as Noshiro and Kinu are both in the shops. And uh, personally for me, uh, Hibiki I already have. Uh, so I'm probably not going to go for the full point accumulation for her. Noshiro, I already have her. Use her all the time. One of my favorite ships. And she's already max limit broken, so I'm not really, you know, planning on spending on her. Kinu, however, though, I did get on the original run for the event, but for whatever reason, I forgot to lock her, and early on, I accidentally removed her. I deleted her, right? Or I retired, rather. Uh, so I'm going to need another Kinu. But now, those two little mentions are out of the way. Yeah, so overall, we're going to be going for, uh, I guess, another copy of Kinu. Uh, and also Kasumi, I think the same thing also happened with her. I thought I had her too, but I, I don't I don't know. Ryuho, Noshiro, Suruga, I already have all of them. Uh, and yeah, I don't need any more copies of them. I'm happy where they are. Shirayuki is a new elite ship you can see over here. And of course, it'd be nice to really get her too. I think her rabbit designs, you know, pretty cool. Kazugumo is of course the new SR ship. Don't get me wrong, I really, really want to get them. But the chances of getting her and all, I mean, there's just four super rares uh, all here. It's like, I don't know. If anything, this is going to kind of be a little bit more break in the bank. As usual, I've somehow climbed up and this is the most wisdom cubes that I've had. And I'm not looking to really spend 300 cubes or anything crazy like that to get uh, Kazogumo. So all we can do is really just hope for the best, get into it, and uh, yeah. All right, going to go ahead and do my first 20 pull. You know, I really thought uh, Shimakaze was going to be uh, part of this event. You know, I, I was saying that in my last video because, you know, she was featured in the Crosswaves, the Zerling Crosswaves, and... Uh, yeah, we're, we're not getting her. Soul Folk is the first one we're getting. But yeah, since Suruga was from Crossways, I really thought we'd be getting her, but uh, I guess not. It's all good, though. I have no idea, then, if we ever will get her, to be honest. I really thought it'd be on this rerun, but maybe a future Sakura Empire event. Guess we'll, uh, only time will tell, huh? All right, uh, all bunch of rares, not looking- Oh, hey, oh, Noshiro, all right, welcome on over, Noshiro. Uh, like I'd mentioned, already had Noshiro. Uh, so yeah, not really looking to get a copy of her, but I guess, you know, at least it's an SR, right? At least it's something. Because, uh, overall, this was not really a good pull. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead, we'll do another 20. Okay, come on, let's get something better. Kazaguma, where are you at? Where are you at? Alright, Chicago. Pensacola. Unicorn. Okay, not the elite that I'm looking for. All right, come on. <laughs> I don't want to spend too many cubes on this event. Not looking too good so far, but uh, let's hope that luck can change really quick. Oh, okay. Shirayuki. Hello. Fubuki. Okay, it's a Fubuki class carrier. Or, uh, Fubuki class ship. That's, I didn't know that, actually. Fubuki class number two, Shirayuki. I'm a bit quieter than my elder sister. Hmm, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well, Shirayuki. Thank you for not exhausting all my resources for you. Uh, I do like, I really do like her design, it's like a nice, uh, white look overall, and I really like her, uh, her little rabbit ball, I don't know exactly what these are, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and lock her, and a Vestal finish off with. Alright, still looking for the other two. Oh nope, I only did one. Oh, okay, yeah, Kasumi and Kinu I'm looking for. So let's go ahead, let's even that out. Uh, yeah, right there, right. Cool. And now that's another 20 pull right there. Alright, oh, Suruga. Oh my god, okay, so... Pretty good luck if this was my first time doing this event, but, uh... Not that great for, uh, who we're actually going for. A lot of comments today, I, I feel like. Could just be me. Alright, Northampton. Portland. And Shrosire. Alright, so again, a pretty bad one for- I mean, Suruga, yeah, I'll take, but, uh... Still, uh, yeah, not who we're going for. All right, and let's see what's going on. Throw Sire again. Oh, cool! Awesome! Thank God! Kazagumo, welcome on over! Kazagumo, you... You Gumo uh, class, reporting for duty. Uh, I hope I'll be able to get along well with everyone else here. Commander, you're not uh, cooking up some disasterly plan, are you? You look rather questionable. All right, so she's already sus of us. Commander is sus for her. Uh, yeah, but awesome! I was able to get her. Not that, uh, not that expensive for cube-wise. That's, that's pretty good. Wow! Whew! I feel really relieved. I really didn't want to go and spend, like, anywhere plus 200 cubes or whatever. Uh, yeah, so her design's pretty cool. 
Uh, she's obviously a little bit more of a lolly ship, uh, but she's got, you know, this little spiral storm and stuff like that. I mean, Kaze means wind in Japanese, so, uh, you got this, you know, spiraling wind, and of course you got these little, these little birds. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what birds these are, as I, I feel like I should know. Uh, yeah, they're, they're cute as hell, so, uh, overall adds to her design. She looks awesome, so yeah, gonna go ahead and lock her. So glad I was able to get her. Wow, alright, that was, that was some good luck, wow. And Kasumi, awesome! That's exactly who else I was looking for. Wow, okay, so we are done in only a couple pulls. That's all who I was looking for. I have enough, uh, bullings to be able to max limit everyone if that's what I want to come Wow, okay, how many stroke styles am I getting? <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna put, uh, I mean, I'll put in the bar below how many stroke styles I'm getting, because that's, that's a little, that's kind of funny. Uh, anyways, uh, Kazagumo, there she is, the destroyer, and followed by Kasumi. So, awesome! That is actually everyone who I wanted to get! And Kinu is the only one that I'm still kind of looking for, but since I can buy her in the event store, there is no good reason at all that I should be, uh, spending any, uh, any more cubes towards her. I guess I just need to grind a little bit. Yeah, I was a bit debating whether I even need to grind this event. I, like, I had already done in the past and stuff like that. The only thing I'd really get is, I think, like, three wisdom cubes, is it? Or is it six wisdom cubes? I don't remember, but, uh... So it's like, I don't know, if we're doing the entire event for just that. It didn't really make a whole lot of sense, but I guess I'll be doing enough to get Kinu, because now that our retrofits come out, you know, a couple months ago, gonna be wanting to go for that. Overall, that was a really quick run, and I'm very excited that I did not have to break the bank at all, and hopefully, yeah, I can finally hit uh, 600 Wisdom Cubes by the time the next video comes out. But instead of ending there, I actually wanted to come uh, take a look at something. So uh, I'm over here. This is the uh, live stream that happened for the on the Japanese Azurlane YouTube channel. Uh, this was, you know, just they're announcing a whole bunch of news because I, I don't know, it, uh, we're getting close to the anniversary, stuff like that. But over here, this is what I wanted to talk about. We're going to be getting Priority Ship uh, Season 4 coming out pretty soon here, and I am so excited for it. So personally, I'm still working on Cheshire right now, and then after that, I wanted to work on Drake. But uh, not too long after that, I'm going to be, you know, doing these ships or whatever, and I'm, yeah, I'm just super excited. All of them look amazing. So I just really wanted to quickly come touch note here. This is the first ship, and it's going to be a Iron Blood ship. Her name is in uh, Katakana right here, but really, it's August von uh, Pars... Sorry, Parsvel, I think that's how you pronounce it. I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to translate. Oh, I guess, I guess it says it right there too. But I don't know how to get that German pronunciation quite right. But uh, yeah, so I believe that she's actually going to be an aircraft carrier, which is going to be pretty huge actually, because um, we do have uh, only uh, one aircraft carrier for the Iron Blood right now. And I don't know. I just feel like having a priority ship is going to really expand. You know, having that arsenal for any Iron Blood fans out there, which is of course me. Um, and I mean, yeah, her design's really cool, so overall I'm just really excited to be getting this ship. Coming up next, I was actually pretty surprised that we're getting an Italian ship. We are gonna be getting RN Marco Polo. Now, I'm gonna be guessing that she's a, uh, a battleship, you know, like, a, one of your main backliners, guessing how many cannons she has here. Uh, I don't really know the history about this ship or whatever. But overall, having another pizza ship, that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, you know, expanding that to the arsenal of uh, Italian ship is gonna be amazing, because I mean... You know, Italian ships is definitely, they have a really cool, uh, you know, faction going on, but there's just not very, a whole lot of them, so having, you know, a bit more of that, definitely a stronger one, a PR ship, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm a bit curious of what we're actually gonna need to farm for her, I'm gonna assume that we're gonna need to be using an Eagle Union type, you know, for the experience to get her, because I feel like it's probably not fair for, you know, any new players that want to be farming for her and haven't gotten many Italian ships, I just don't think that's gonna work out. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of curious. Maybe no, I, I'll probably uh, probably a British ship actually. Probably uh, Royal Navy, I think. That's just my guess. But uh, skipping on forward, we are going to be getting a new Eagle Union ship, who I am also very excited for. So her name is Ankro Range, I believe. And uh, I mean, yeah, super excited, right? You know, she having all this like wind flowing over her uh, clothes. I'm gonna be guessing she's an aircraft carrier, which is gonna be pretty pretty. I don't know. Just it's a little bit weird for me. You know, we already have such powerful aircraft carriers like Essex and. Uh, Enterprise, of course, so it's just gonna be if we're gonna get a priority ship That's gonna be kind of a little bit of a game changer, you know I'm gonna be really curious to see how she's gonna fare against Essex and Enterprise um, Of course being priority she's gonna have to be powerful, but is she really gonna be more powerful than them? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but just, uh, you know, a lot of potential over here for her. And over here is another ship that I am also beyond excited for I believe her name is uh, KMS Aguirre uh, Igir, I don't know exactly how to pronounce the German again but uh, she honestly gives a little bit more of a Fidish de Grosse kind of type vibe or whatever. I, I think it's just the clothes and, you know, a little bit of the Ara Ara vibe. Uh, but she is going to be, I believe, a heavy cruiser. So a frontline ship. And, of course, you can see here that she's going to be uh, DR or ultra rare, basically, for priority ships. And, uh, yeah, having 
Having another German ship here on the front line is going to be uh, a pretty big deal. You know, with the priority ship aircraft carrier, you already had uh, Friedrich de Grosse, and now having a frontline ultra rare for the German fleet is going to be amazing. We are really turning the whole uh, Iron Blood fleet around. That's because not too long ago, they were kind of seen as the weakest. Uh, they didn't really have very many ships. Friedrich de Grosse coming out was a big deal because she was really the only one providing a lot of power. I mean, Bismarck is pretty decent, but other than Bismarck, there wasn't really anyone that was carrying it. But now you're going to have plenty of options for an Iron Blood fleet, which is amazing as an Iron Blood, you know, fan or whatever. Uh, super, super excited. I'm definitely going to be wanting to get all these ships. But overall, yeah, just super excited for her. Can't really say much else. Last but not least, we're also going to be getting another Japanese ship, uh, Sakura Empire, an ultra rare, which I'm very excited for. This is Hakuryu, which I am very, very excited for. As you can see right here with this little plane taking off, she is going to be an aircraft carrier. So yeah, this is kind of going to be a little bit of a, a game changer and stuff like that as well, because we already had uh, Shinano being an ultra rare. Of course, she was the first regular ultra rare ship to come out in the game, you know, that you'd get for bulls. Uh, but I'm, it's really just gonna be a question of how much you can bear against her. You know, for being priority, it, you would think that maybe she might even be more powerful than Shinano, which, Shinano's of course the most powerful aircraft carrier right now in terms of damage output. Uh, so it's gonna just be really interesting. Overall though, uh, it's not so much of them competing each other, but having them together in a fleet could be completely just dominating the entire game. Imagine having Shinano, Hakuryu and, uh, you know, Nagato as your main, uh, flagship, and then Nagato giving that damage bonus, you're just gonna be doing massive damage output, because that's exactly what I imagine this ship is also gonna be mostly used for. Overall, I'm super excited for her, and I'm gonna be really, really excited once I can finally get her and, you know, see where, uh, she can fare in my fleet against Shinano, with Shinano, everything like that. So, yeah, that kind of concludes it for the Season 4 Priority Ships. I am super excited for all of them. I think all of their designs were beyond amazing. I really, I don't even know which one I'm going to be going for first. They're all absolutely, they seem like they're going to be super powerful and they're all going to bring something new to the table. You know, out of all the priority seasons, there's a couple ships that I obviously like really, really like. And then there's some of them I'm kind of like, oh yeah, I can wait on them. But these ones, I really don't know. I like all of these ships. So of course, this is going to be a World of Warships kind of collaboration with the Zerlane uh, to make all these ships and stuff like that. These ships are all from the World of Warships game. And uh, I'm not sure exactly because all priority ships usually come from a uh, history of they were kind of being built or they were planned to be built or never actually were or you know something usually along that or they were kind of like partly built and then they're transferred to something now there's there's a lot of uh they kind of never really existed that's usually the deal with priority ships so since i don't play world of warships and i don't know all the history of these ships to be exact i can't really give you a fair uh, a fair answer for that but overall we're going to be getting them about next month this is of course for the japanese server but uh since all the events have matched up, we're pretty much matched up with the uh, rest of the world for EN. Uh, yeah, we can be expecting next month to be getting these ships. With all that being said, I am still extremely glad that I was able to get Kazugumo uh, pretty much uh, in the first, yeah, under 100 cubes. Really, really glad about that. And of course, I'm going to be wishing all you guys the best luck on your pulls. Let me know down in the comments who you guys are trying to go for and, you know, maybe come back and let me know if you guys actually got them. I'll do my best to reply to them, but I'm actually genuinely really curious to see how everyone else is also going to do on this event. Again, Swirling Sakuras is actually, I think, one of my favorite events, especially when it came out on uh, New Year's on the original run. Uh, just everything with it all combined together in the game and, you know, all the other kind of New Year's stuff that they have going on. It was really, really amazing. But that's going to go ahead and conclude it for this video. Thank you guys all for watching so much. Of course, I'll be doing plenty of other Azure Lane videos and other types of gaming videos in the future. So if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe for more content. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you guys all in another video.